Hi, this is Shady. Today we're going to be looking at some lost unlocks from the 1920s era. So, in the 1920s, Oda Tsunetane went on an academic search. He published books and also taught a lot and really refined Neiwaza. And in return, E.J. Harrison did an English publication of his technique, the Oda Method. So, what we're going to be relying on today is the book Judo on the Ground. And not only that, but also try to put them in the Kodokan frame of the joint locking techniques because, as they said, whatever variation occurs or be invented, they will certainly fit into the techniques that they have already put into their uh, curriculum. So the first one is going to be Gyaku against opponent's left arm in armpit. So this is a technique that you can get either when someone turtles and you can hook your legs in and then turn them backwards or you can get it when you have someone's back already taken and from there you lock their arm in your armpit and then from there you you can actually extend your legs to flatten them and also put a lot of pressure on their elbow joints so i would say this is a variation of waki gatame uh, where you hold the elbow under the armpit and squeeze now the next one is gyaku against opponent's left arm from direction of head this one is very interesting and it looks very brutal now you can get it from the north south position where you can actually get up uh, trap your opponent's arm as they try to hold your body from it in order to roll and escape and then you can clasp your hands together pull them up towards you on the elbow level which can cause a lot of pressure on the shoulder uh, this is at least to me a variation of te gatame or hand uh, hold uh, because it's a very uh, versatile lock and you can see it here for example if they turn around and they're on their stomach trying to avoid the pin you can with both hands bring their arm or wrist uh, towards them which will lock the shoulder very similar if you do the same but they're lying on their back and you are above their head so i would say this is a variation of te gatame the next one is by far the coolest in my opinion it is gyaku against opponent's right arm from holding cuff now you can get this after um, a sacrifice throw so you go down for example it doesn't work out so you hold the arm that's holding your lapel you lace your leg above it and with the back of your knee you stretch your leg you can actually uh, lock their far hip from escaping with your foot as you lace uh, their hand and with your other leg as you see you can hook the ankle trapping them from moving and from there as you extend your knee or the back of your knee it will put a lot of pressure on their elbow and lock it. So I would say it's a variation of Hiza Gatame or knee hold because in Hiza Gatame you can attack with the back of your knee like in say Omoplata. Let's see a few of Hiza Gatame uh, variations. So here from the scarf hold you can actually put the back of your knee uh, on their arm and then from there extend your leg and press down and locking the elbow so here also what you can do is do this is also a lost arm lock i would say uh, you can as they are on their stomach you can put your knee on their hand or their elbow in particular and lift their wrist up which will cause obviously pain and you can win the fight here is another one with the back of the knee you extend your leg trapping the far leg and as you extend your leg and pushing the uh, hand upward, you will lock the shoulder. This is also Hiza Gatame. The next one is Gyaku against opponent's right arm with both legs from below. This is very interesting. So this is where you can bait someone into this when, let's say, you are they're doing an over-under uh, pass or they're trying to get into side control. And from there what you do is you lock your legs together and you hold the arm tight between your legs and you need to 
with your hands you need to control the arm in so that the elbow is pointing upwards and from there you extend your legs as they are locked together and it will create a lot of downward pressure on the elbow this is easily uh, can be categorized as uh, ashi gatame or leg hold but it's reversed uh, you will see the basic form and also some competitive variation uh, from Kodokan footage. So let's see here the basic form. Now, you can get this, this basic form as someone is dropping for a kata guruma or a fireman's carry. You can sprawl down on them and catch this. So what you do is, is figure for your legs, making sure the arm is uh, locked out and you press upward locking the elbow there's another variation where you actually lock the shoulder we will see it later on so again as they ball up you can actually trap the arm as as such and here if you turn towards uh, the front you can actually lock the elbow if they are resistant and trying to bend the elbow from having it locked you can actually attack uh, the shoulder now let's see saito uh, Hitoshi Saito, may he rest in peace, he was the best at this uh, arm lock. So what he would do is he drags them in and making sure he has full control. And as he's dragging them uh, with their collar and belt, they're trying to post their arm and that's where he gets his chance. Also, he can just drag them to the ground and immediately initiates a newaza. So this is also a great way to get into the lock. Notice how his arm is bent. It's locking the shoulder. It is absolutely brutal. If his son could actually adopt this technique, he already has his O Sotogari and his Uchimata. If he can adopt this technique as well, it would be picture perfect. Now this one here is also the same. Locks it and just raises his legs up and gets the tap. So. Uh, anything can be done with all sorts of variation. Just if you are applying a certain principle, you are doing that. Uh, you are doing a variation of a particular technique. So, as the Kodokan says in those productions that you've seen, they've said uh, something to the fact that uh, if uh, there's something new that's invented or uh, whatever new technique comes uh, along the way. Uh, if it fits into the criteria or the fundamentals of another technique that means it's a variation so they so they laid out the blueprints for any throws or any uh, katame waza so we can easily put them in the frames of these techniques that were already laid down you know decades ago and rightfully so with this book these are merely variations but they're nonetheless great uh, variations and we don't see them unfortunately so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below also consider supporting me on patreon for exclusive content i post there once a week this was shady and thank you for listening